So here we are, and there's imbalance that we're a part of, systems that aren't flowing properly. They're short-circuiting so that the wealth that's created isn't getting to where it needs to get to. That happens at economic levels and it happens um, at social levels in this civilization in which we live, but it also happens at very human levels. We give and we give and we give, and then somebody around us is, doesn't give back. We, we keep inviting people over for dinner and nobody invites us over for dinner. You know, things like that uh, happen in our life experience. And then it just comes up like, so what's going on here and what do I do? And it's so easy, it seems, in the disappointment of all that, when, when we become aware that the flow ain't flowing and it's not returning to me. In that disappointment, there can be a shutting down. There can be a disillusionment. There can be the thought, well, if people aren't given to me, I'm not given to them. And then a person can end up living a life that's parsimonious, that's holding back, that isn't generative. And what to do? Well, that's no way to live a life when we reflect on it. It's no way to live a life to let our generating station shut down, to let our furnace grow cold. Because then we're sitting there with a cold furnace, living a cold life with no flow and no voltage in life. And so what do we say about all that? What do we say about how we let that flow of voltage, that life-giving flow come through us and into the world? You know, say it with me. Let love radiate without concern for results without paying attention to what's coming back. Because if you don't, you shut down. You have no voltage with which to live your life. And yes, you may need to talk to that person who's not reciprocating about that. You may need to be a mechanic for the system of the world in which you live sometimes. But still, don't shut down. Don't let that voltage drop. Don't stop giving. And just like we have faith that the plants provide us with carbon dioxide or with oxygen, we can have faith that one way or another, even with all of the vagaries of how human beings behave, my word shall not return unto me void. I am like Isaiah. I have faith that something comes back in the magic of life. And that the, the creator of it all has provided for the working of that system. And something beautiful comes back when something beautiful is given. And I don't know about you, but for me, it doesn't always come back in expected ways. But it comes back. It doesn't come back from this person over, over here, but it does come back from this one. Can't quite figure it all out, can you? Can't quite figure it all out. And yet, we're here to keep giving. 